not just the curtain closer to the 2018 campaign for the Whitecaps, it's also farewell to Fonzie Knight. He's going to Bayern Munich, and I tell you what, he's going there to play. And he deserves to play, because the kid's come a long way. Alfonso Davies has indeed come a long way. And so has his family. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> his parents, Victoria and Debe, are in town from Edmonton, attending their first Whitecaps game. The last game their son will play for the organization. There's a lot more to this story than just football. He's an example of coming from a war torn country and coming to a different country and maximizing his, his opportunities. Camp. Tens of thousands of Liberians are running for their lives. He came to Canada. This kid who never played soccer came here and now he's this big superstar. It's not about where we came from, but it's about the people that opens their arms and welcome us and give us, you know, a light of day to know that we do have a future. It shows anything is possible. Anything is possible. What are you calling me for? Uh, you know, I want out of your pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Ah, I tell you, I catch you. You don't see the view? Take a look. Look at the water, the sky. Family is everything to Alfonso Davies. Time together is rare and cherished. How are you feeling about it? Are you nervous at all? Mm, I want to cry now. <laughs> I'm okay. Victoria and Debe live for their children and shy away from discussing their native Liberia, a small country in northwest Africa with a violent past. You must have had a, a many opportunities to talk about what life was like in Liberia for your mom and dad. What have they told you? They haven't really told me much. Um, I've asked, but... They haven't really said anything. I wonder why they haven't shared that with you. Why do you think? I don't know. I don't like to talk about my country and because it's so hard. Okay. Sometimes you're online and then they take people. Someone in front of you, they kill them. Someone from behind you, they kill them. So I don't like to talk about my country. Events are coming to a head in Liberia tonight. The West African nation devastated by months of brutal civil war. With thousands of people dead and the economy in ruins. No, oh, I saw a lot of gun. People started firing everywhere. So we started seeing people clearing people around. You can't leave your house or go anywhere. You have to be indoor. Sometimes you come out and then you see body laying down. People dying. In 2001, Victoria and Debe fled to Budaburam, a refugee camp in neighboring Ghana. This would be the birthplace of their first son, Alfonso. How did you feel when you saw him for the first time? Uh, I feel like you're on a refugee camp and then you're struggling for food, you get pregnant and then you get back. I was thinking, oh, how am I going to manage? Because it's so tough. The family enrolled in a refugee resettlement program. In 2006, when Alfonso was five, they landed in Windsor, Ontario then on to Edmonton, where Alfonso first fell in love with soccer. What is your goal as a player? My goal as a player to reach professional level and 
probably play with some of the pros. Every time I watch Alfonso, I'm in awe. When I coached Alfonso, uh, he had all of that. He had the speed, the touch, the IQ. He had pace and he just glided by players. It was just almost effortless. His work ethic, to have the work ethic that he did and the passion for the sport, you know, it was just at a different level. Alfonso's work ethic, along with his remarkable talent, got him discovered by the Vancouver Whitecaps at the age of 15. What's that? Tell us a little bit about what we got going on here today. Uh, I'm signing my first professional MLS contract, and I'm really excited. Do you want to just look at the camera? <laughs> <laughs> the first game I played with Vancouver it was against Orlando. Well, what a this is. I heard my name got called, Alfonso. I looked over at the bench, and I was like, this is actually happening. So. On comes 15-year-old Alfonso Davies for his Major League Soccer debut. Here is Alfonso Davies stepping inside Serran. Alfonso Davies driving towards the goal. Alfonso Davies! That's what he can do. I think at that moment, I was like, I can, I can play in this league. Superstar, he's done it again, the teenage sensation. He's one of those rare talents that has the ability to get the fans out of their, their seats. Alfonso Davies shows coolness, calmness beyond his years. You can almost see the sense of anxiety on the defender's face. How great a player do you think he will be? Oh, one of the best players in the world. Yeah, I'm going to say it, you know, um, hopefully he doesn't hear this or see this interview and just keeps working harder and harder. Has there ever been a buzz about a player of his age in Canada before? No, I don't think there has been. Super Majesty. Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II. With a greater profile came increased personal responsibility, and Alfonso embraced it. He became a Canadian citizen and committed to the senior national team. Offfield slides this one across, Davies at the back post! And then delivering an impassioned speech to FIFA on behalf of Canada's joint bid to host the 2026 World Cup. When I was five years old, a country called Canada welcomed us in. And the boys on the football team made me feel at home. Today, I'm a proud Canadian citizen. The world was now watching, including one of the biggest clubs in Europe. And Munich have won the UEFA Champions League. And in July of 2018, Bayern Munich signed Davies. The amount was a record outgoing fee for an MLS player, totaling close to $22 million. I saw him one and a half, two years ago in a game. I mean, always a 16 years old kid is playing in, uh, in the first team. Obviously, everybody's watching. And then we decided, or we saw, he has uh, great qualities and he can be the player of Bayern Munich. How do you think he compares to some of the other best prospects in the game of his age? I would say he'd be in the top five, ten percent in the world. That's, Bayern Munich wouldn't make the statement that they're making at the moment if they didn't feel Alfon Alfonso was of that caliber. He's going to get some of the best coaching and learn from some of the best players in the world. So a lot of this is the environment, you know, gives you the chance to reach potential. It's that simple. It's January in Munich, and Alfonso has been living here alone since November. 
He's biding his time with virtual games, waiting for the real thing. Tell me a little bit about what your life's like in Munich, and it must be a little bit lonely from time to time. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I haven't really made friends, friends yet. So, you know, after after training, come home, just literally sit on my couch. If I'm really, really bored, I go out and just go for a walk, see what's going on around me. I think I miss I miss my mom cooking the most. Um, just miss them in general. My little brother, sister. Uh, seeing them, not being able to see them every day is you know, it's hard, but it's something you have to sacrifice, I guess. I will take care of him. You know, not just me, all of us. We know about his qualities, we know how is Alfonso, what is that, uh, how is this kid, you know, uh, thinking, living, and uh, um, we will take care of him. And in February, another milestone. We're going to see coming on Alfonso Davies very soon, too, the exciting young Canadian talent for Bayern. Little by little, the club shows confidence in its budding superstar. With a huge potential. Want here to be maybe a game changer or a game saver, they hope, here by it. But considering his family's humble beginnings, just being here is a small miracle. All this that I'm doing is for them. Really? Um, yeah. It's me saying thank you and giving back to them. It's a big dream because somebody from the refugee camp struggling to get food to eat, and today he's the breadwinner for the whole family. I'm so proud of him. Alfonso Davies can, the teenager with the goal. When I watch him on the field, sometimes tears set in my eyes. My refugee baby. Now, on national TV, I'm very happy.